Hey folks, it's a little tour of our hydronic heating system for this room in our barn where uh, there's PEX in the slab that we poured in the floor. So one of these hot water lines coming out of this domestic water heater, this one is warm to the touch. So uh, out of the top of the tank, hot water can either go out to the floor loop. This is an air inlet to purge the floor loop in the off season by blasting it out with compressed air. And then there's another line here that goes pecks over to we have a bit of a winter kitchen set up in here. So it's the same water heater provides hot water for heating the room and for uh, hand washing and, and dishes in the kitchen. Uh, so the circulation pump, which is down here and is triggered by a cheap little Chinese thermostatic control. Uh, these little circulation pumps don't draw much current. This one's like eight tenths of an amp or something like that. And uh, the sensor from the thermostat, it comes out, it's in that, it comes out here and then it goes into the slab. So I just had to lengthen the wires for the, uh, the temperature probe and then it goes into the slab in that third line. So one of them is outbound, one is return, and the other one is just a dead end that runs out to about the middle of the slab, and that's where the temperature sensor is. So when that point in the slab is cooler than the set point, so right now the set point, it's aiming for 17 and a half degrees, it's at 16.9 because it hasn't reached the set point. It has closed the little relay in here and there's 120 volt AC through that relay down to the pump. And this pump is on. I'll just shut up and you can try to hear it. It's not very loud. So, that's it. The uh, supply line for this is into the water heater, flapper, uh, or those called one way valve, and then into the tank to be heated. And when it comes back from the floor, it gets sent into the return. And interestingly, it's still coming back pretty darn warm. That's remarkable. I'm surprised how warm the pump case is. I'll go look up my specs and see what it can tolerate, but it is a circulation pump used for heating, so I doubt if it's all that. Uh, maximum water temperature, 110 degrees Celsius. So uh, that's steam, isn't it? Above 100? At any rate, um, apparently it can tolerate pretty hot water. I'm sure the water's not coming back that hot, because the water heater's not even heating it that hot. So yeah. So far, so good. It's been up and running since just since this morning, but uh, it's a project that's been in the works for more than a year. So I thought uh, some people might like a little update. And the white thing there, you can disregard. It's a gray water transfer pump because uh, we have a challenge with getting water out of this part of the barn. So it just pumps out to a gray water handling setup. So yeah, that's it. Thanks to Don and everyone else on the team who contributed to getting this slab poured and all of the other puzzles related to it. That's pretty exciting to finally see it working. Silent heat.